How's it going everyone? JKXVX here back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. We have a brand new up we have a brand new update which has just been released today for Forza Horizon 4 on November the 20th and it has quite a few cool features which we're going to go through in today's quick video. Upon launching the game we have a quick little preview of two of the new DLC cars which we're going to get over coming for the next month for the car pass owners. For example, on November the 22nd, we're going to get the Aston Martin Vantage 2018, the brand new one, and also the McLaren 650S Spider, which is going to be pretty cool. And I believe if we go to Car Pass, this is going to be our first glimpse of the DLC cars, which are going to be in this new update. Oh, ho, ho, look at this, boys. So we've got the Vantage and the 650S Spider in a couple of days, and then... We get the Ferrari FXX, the old one, which is pretty cool. The C-Type Jag, which I've heard of, but not really interested in it. But look at this. We get a Trident Peel. I've never even heard of that, but it has a whopping four brake horsepower. Oh my goodness. And then we have the Diberti Chevrolet truck. Is that of some sort? I think I've seen that around, actually, to be honest. That would be cool to have a blast in. I like the rims. With a 1,000 horsepower. Wow, look at that. This car has 4 horsepower. This car has 1,005. <laughs> Brilliant. And then the last week, we have the Honda Civic RS. That's a pretty cool, funky little car, that is. And then the Honda S2000, a classic. So those are some pretty cool DLC cars that we have there to look forward to over the next month. However, one of the other features in this update, I believe, we get the ability to paint sections of cars instead of just painting the whole car. So we're going to jump in and see if we can figure out what this new paint job section thing is like. Right then, paint car. Are we going to get anything new pop up? Oh, yes we are. That's new. Let's click on this. Or is it? Okay, so the, the way I believe this works is McLaren Senna isn't a massive example, but we can see that we can paint the calipers and the actual car different colours. Um, however, if we go to here, it paints it just all the same colour, so I'm not quite sure. Aha! There we go. If we click X on Advanced, Layer Group 1... Yes, this paints just the car, and then we can go to advanced again, and pick just the calipers. That is cool. So there you go, guys. That's how it works. Yellow and red. Looks pretty cool. Shut up, phone. Now, it seems like... Oh, no way. Hang on a minute. Let me... Oh, this is insane. Look at the amount of options here. Right, let's see what actual options we have. So we can have that. Let's make it a colour we can see. Let's make that red. Number two, let's do this. What's this going to be? Green. Okay, we can't see that. Okay, so you can paint all the subsections regardless of if you can actually see them or not. So if I paint them all a different colour... Oh, that's the inner bit. That's interesting. If I paint them all a different colour, then we go to the rims, we'll be able to see what bits you can actually paint. Oh, I see, on the outer edge. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to make that... What colour should I make that? I've already picked most of them. I'm going to make that red. That is very cool. And this has worked with like, the Bugatti Chiron as well, I believe. Maybe the Centenario, I think. Oh, that'll be a good one. Wow, some of these features are really cool. I'm intrigued to see what the other rims are like. If we go to rims now, uh, it doesn't actually seem like they've got... Oh, there we go. You can... Oh, that's sweet. We can see the sections of the rims now for each thing. So for this one, oh, you can see the blue, the green, and the red. That's cool. I'm pretty sure those are some new rims. Is that new? Oh, some of these are sweet. Oh, look at that. It's brilliant that they've added this. I've chosen some pretty bad colours here, but I've done this just... Oh, these are nifty. Just so you can physically see what parts of the rims that we can paint. Um, 
So I've done red. You can you can see the glimpse of the purple quite well in there. You can see the purple quite well. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There you go. You can see it in there. That is very cool. Oh, you can see all four colours on that one. Sweet. What about the multi-piece rims? Um, oh, that's quite that's quite strange. Completely flips it round. Fair enough. This is also giving you all the glimpse of all the new rims as well that we have. Um, I'm just giving you a quick... Oh my god. Some of these look really bizarre. <laughs> oh my word. I've got to say, the ability to paint different parts of the rims has dramatically... Oh, is that broken? You can't even paint that rim. It dramatically changes it. I wasn't expecting to be able to do that much, but you can actually completely transform the rim by having just these multiple colours that you can see. Just letting you all know, I would never... Yeah, I would never make my rims green and red. This is just to see the sections, if that makes sense. Um, but wow, that is pretty cool. And we've had a look at the rims, we've had a look at the DLC cars, and I just want to show you a few of these... A few of the really good cars that you can paint the individual sections on. For example, the Aerial Atom. This one is probably one of the best ones to paint the individual sections of the car. Even the bonnet, it's really good. So if we go to design and paint for the Aerial Atom now, I've just realised I'm in the festival instead of the Edinburgh Castle now. But not only can we do this for the Aerial Atom, so I could essentially make that green, which looks pretty cool. I want to add a bit more green to it I could add all of this to green as well so that's cool and then if I wanted even more green you could do that as well bear in mind some of it could be black some of it could be green so I could turn the middle one back to black again which looks a bit strange to be honest and then it seems like the bonnet as well even the bonnet has differences look at that down there look I could make the tip red that's what she said. Make the sides of it blue. It's, the Aerial Atom is definitely one of the ones for the most most amount of different colour options. This one's a good one. Please excuse the disgusting paint jobs. Um, I was just doing really bright ones, as I said earlier, just to see what parts of the car you can paint. But it's pretty simple for the bus. You can paint the bottom and the top, which honestly gives you a complete range of options for the bus. Look at look at all of these. That looks cool. That looks cool. The blue looks cool. The red looks cool. Even the pink looks dope. We tried all sorts. Um, as you can see, we tried the FXXK. The FXK was good as, good as well, so I recommend having a peek at that one. Centenario. Where was the Centenario? Oh, you can see I did the Aguera RS as well. Bit ugly that was. But the Centenario, you can, you can paint the actual skirts and the accents on it you can see up there number three there we go it's a shame you can't paint the tire bits on there but um except what we've been given so yeah guys i think we've been through most of the things from this update i'll have one last scroll through the rims but with a normal color on so it's not a disgusting color but other than that we've looked at the painting options we've looked how to do it we've looked at the new dlc cars coming it's going to be pretty cool so one of the last things I'm going to leave you all with are all the new rims again. I'm going to go through them nice and slowly with a standard colour so you can see them all. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Go get this update downloaded because it's really cool. Thanks to everyone who popped into my stream as well earlier on today. It was a blast. Follow my Twitch in the description for our normal streams. And I'll see you all in the next video.